the preceding slides that we've been what we've been talking about so far are applicable when your spin orbit interaction is weak. Okay, so the method that we using we were using to determine the levels is known as Russell Saunders or LS coupling scheme. Okay, but like I said, when spin orbit coupling becomes very strong, the spin orbit interaction becomes very strong. Your correction to the spin or due to spin orbit interaction will become much larger than the actual correction you would need to fully account for electron electron repulsion. So it's better to do the spin orbit correction first before you apply the electron electron repulsion correction. Right? And so uh, in these cases, you use a different uh, scheme for coming up with the uh, with the energy level. <coughs> All right, so in this case, you apply the spin orbit correction first to get the terms. You specify the term by listing the J for each electron. Okay, so the J, a possible J's for each electron would be L plus S all the way to L minus S. So you specify a term there by spe then by specifying J1, J1, J2, let's say you have two electrons, you spe spe instead of specifying big L and big S for the term, your term will be J1 and J2, okay? And then once you find, apply the correction to fully account for electron-electron repulsion, then the terms, okay, that have the same J will have the same energy. So your J's would now be J1 plus J2 all the way down to J1 minus J2 if you have two electrons in your, in your electron configuration. Okay, so let's look at xenon, for example. Uh, let's see, atomic spectral database. That we expect that to have a very large spin orbit uh, interaction term. Xenon one. Okay. Look at the um, term that's given there. That's three halves, okay? But you have a singlet S. Uh, why is the why is the JJ? By the way, that coupling scheme that we talked about is known as a JJ coupling scheme instead of an LS or Russell Saunders coupling scheme. Why? But why is the Russell Saunders scheme applicable to this ground state? Singlet S. What happens if you have an S state? Do you have spin orbit interaction? No. There, there is no L, right? So, so uh, there's so you, that's why you have that singlet S term. But here you'll you'll notice that you you're specifying the J's in your uh, in your uh, term symbol. Okay. So that's the JJ coupling scheme. 